are singing. No words to bear the burden of our praise. Yet how can we be silent and remember the splendor and the fullness of her days? It uh, was always a pleasure during my 12 years as uh, the director of alumni relations uh, to bring folks home. No pleasure is greater than having my own here. I'm so glad to see y'all. Welcome home. I want to welcome back all the alumni. We turned the green light on for you. And as John Sloan Dickey used to say, you are the stuff of this institution. What you are, we will be. What you have become makes us so proud and when you come back, we remember what a special place we have in all of your hearts. And you also should know that you have a very, very special place in all of our hearts. came here in 1967, there were bleachers on the east side of Memorial Field. You were the reason that 9,000 seats were built so that in the next few years and for a number of years after, 20,000 people would come to Dartmouth and hand over on weekends to watch you beat Yale, Princeton, and Harvard. And I've had the good fortune to be here and see it all, and I presume I'll get no argument that when you look at a period, the class of 71, was really one of the best of the bunch. So I have very special thoughts about classmates and teammates and uh, former players of ours. But there is no question in my mind that the class of 71 players are the most distinctive for a lot of reasons, not all just football. For the wolf wind is wailing at the doorways, and the snow drifts deep along the road, and the ice gnomes are marching from their Norways, and the great white cold walks abroad. Zoom. For here by the fire we defy frost and storm. Ah, we are warm and we have our hearts desire. For here with the fellows and the beechwood and the bellows and the cup is at the lip in the pledge of fellowship. For here by the fire we defy frost and storm. We have our warm and we have our hearts desire. For here we're good fellows and the beechwood and the bellows. And the cup is at the lip in the Pledge of Fellowship. A fellowship. I contacted our class. We were uh, embarking on, we were just before our 35th reunion. And uh, we, uh, as a class, decided that we would fund uh, a project to uh, create a book that would not only capture the beautiful but controversial pictures, uh, but also present them in a scholarly and intelligent uh, historical context of this very complex subject, which actually is a touchstone for what has become what we, we understand, especially the class of 71 is one of the last male classes as the, the Dartmouth culture, the, the Dartmouth Indian. Where did that come from? What does it mean? We are by no means exclusively the uh, locus of protest and uh, concern about public murals. There is something about a mural in a public space that seems to engender the most enormous reactions. Uh, and I can well understand the passionate commitment of uh, 
certain alumni, your class, and those that went before you, uh, to these murals, which, of course, history has caught up with and is now, once again, I think, reconfiguring for us. And that would be maybe the theme that I would pursue with you, is how history transforms the way we look at murals because of their public status and the way we uh, really respond to them because both the Orozco cycle and these have undergone frequent transformations in the public eye. It's funny how quickly you reconnect and pick up relationships that you left uh, 40 years ago in some place. And it's just been uh, a very uh, rewarding experience. Everyone who is here has been deeply affected by their experience, both at the college and subsequent to their years here. Uh, and those experiences have helped to form them into a unified group of people with a single commitment to making sure that Dartmouth remains vibrant and viable on into the future. The experience of the bonfire of all of the young people here on campus, the freshman class for the first time, you see the energy. You participate in a football weekend, and I think that this is the reunion that we will probably remember strongest and deepest among uh, all our Dartmouth experiences. Well, an education is certainly many of those things that we learned in our classrooms. But an education, in my opinion, is just as much how we learn to get along with people. And if I had to be with any group, I'm thankful to be with you. Welcome home, my friends. Like you lost me,